Hey guys, welcome to my channel, welcome to this video. I programmed a little macro a while ago, which I use in almost every show of mine, because it really saves time and really speeds up my programming process. And yeah, I hope it does the same for you. So yeah, that's why I share it with you. So the macro is called something like uh, effect, updater, whatever, and it updates your selective effects with whatever group, whatever number of fixtures you want to update it with. So the idea is for people who have tour show files or start show files and want to use their effects on every rig and different rigs on different fixtures and different numbers of fixtures, they always have to update these effects. You can do that manually. But if you have a few effects, this can be time consuming and it's unnecessary. So that's why I have this macro and that's why I share it with you. So yeah, let's dive into it and I'll show you how it works. So first of all, you have to download the macro, of course. There's a download link in the description. Uh, copy it, go to the MA folder, go to macros and copy it in there. Oops, I already had it in there, so yeah. <laughs> makes sense <laughs> so copy it in this folder then switch over to ma software we go to setup we go to import export import macros and there you should find it if you don't see it maybe you have to switch your hard drive um, i want to import my macro at 48 but the pool number isn't important for the macro to work so you can choose whatever number you like to have the macro so yeah, you can see on the left side, the macro is here now, but before I hit the macro the first time, I just wanted to show you these effects. I just imported some basic effects to show you how the macro works. You can see there are a quantity of six spots in this case, and I have a group with like 16 spots, and we want to update these effects with this group and the fixture selection within this group. So for instance, if you were at a venue last night where you had six spots and today you're at a venue where you have 16 spots, um, yeah, then you just have to hit the macro to update your effects. Also, these effects have a quantity of six uh, stored to them. So yes, let's hit the macro the first time. You can see it locks itself when you hit it the first time. That's important because you shouldn't rename the macro, otherwise it wouldn't work properly anymore. And so it asks you which group number you want to store to which effects. In this case, I want to store my spots to these effects. So I say group four and we start at this effect. 64 in my case and we want to update all these effects okay they're just three effects but <laughs> if you have more then uh, it's getting more effective of course and we want to end with this effect so set effect 70 we hit enter and the macro is done and starts again so you can update like your wash effects or whatever if you're finished, press F, then the macro stops itself. Now we can see if we edit these effects that there's a quantity of 16 uh, also on these other effects. So yeah, that's basically how the macro works. Uh, it can save a lot of time. So I hope this macro helps you to improve your shows, to get faster in your programming process. And yeah, if it did, leave a like, leave a comment, also leave a also leave a comment if I should yeah, upload some more videos like this and publish some more macros. Subscribe to this channel to so don't miss any upcoming videos and follow me on Instagram and I see you. Bye!